Once again, and welcome to Fox Tales. This time, I'm going to tell you about a bard I worked with in a D&D campaign a long time ago. Now, this was a... the player was a guy named Jared, and he was pretty new to the tabletop role-playing game scene. Well, he and I were making characters and uh, he decided to be a bard. Uh, for anyone not familiar with Dungeons and Dragons, a bard is basically a traveling musician and they have a certain set of skills for basic survival they they're a little bit like they're a little bit like thieves they're a little bit war like warriors they even have a little magic they're jacks of all trades they're a jack of all trades well being a musician Jared was trying to figure out what to name his character he had changed his uh, he had his musical instrument being a guitar. So, quite fine for a bard to have. And so, in the guys, we jokingly, we laughed and joked about naming his character Eric Clapton after the uh, famous guitarist rock star. And uh, Jared went with it. He named his bard Eric Clapton. And uh, that's where this tale begins, really. That's where we begin this tale. You see, him and I, my character being a dwarven monk who had his own, had his own, of course, he had his dwarven name, but everyone called him Jackie Lee. Mm, just rolled with it. Yeah. But, anyway, him and I. Mm -mm. Eric Clapton and Jackie Lee went, set out on an adventure. We had found a goblin den. And we were going to clear it out and claim the reward. Because, you know, we're protecting the townspeople from this goblin infestation, but at the same time, we got to get paid. But anyway. And so we started storming this, and it didn't take long for the goblins to know that there were intruders in their series of tunnels, and some rushed the faces, some uh, hid. Still others actually locked themselves behind crudely made wooden doors that we couldn't get through all of them. It's like there's only so many times you can bust through a wooden door successfully, especially at level one. It's also important to know. It's important to note this now. Eric Clapton was not only a master of the guitar. He he carried an axe both a guitar and a battle axe, which he wasn't proficient in. He was not skilled in using a battle axe, so he took massive penalties, but he still managed to be incredible with that axe. He had no right in hitting anything, and yet he was hitting and killing everything. He was a better warrior than I was, at the beginning of that adventure. And, uh... So a lot of the goblins were hiding themselves behind wooden doors. When we found out, we found this one room. We 
we knew there were a lot. There were a lot of goblins behind this door, and once we rushed in, it was going to be on. And we probably were going to be outnumbered to death. Like, we've got to figure out a better way. We need to have them come to us, maybe use this choke point of the doorway to our advantage. And, uh... Jared came up with something. He had Eric, he had Eric Clapton walk up right, up, right up to the door, and just simply, he knocked on the door. And uh, Ian, my friend, and DM at the time, I had to think about how he was going to handle this, and basically, he had one of the goblins unlock and open the door, at which point, Eric came down with that battle axe, killed that goblin where he stood, kicked him back through the doorway, Close the door. Waited a few seconds. And then... But he didn't just knock. He didn't just knock. He took it a step further. Because it turns out, Eric Clapton knows Goblin. And so he spoke... Hey, hey guys, we cleared out those stinking humans and those stinking pink skins, because I was a dwarf. <clears throat> and, uh, I'm like, he chased them off, it's okay now. And with that, with the knock and that bluff, D <clears throat> our DM Ian had, uh, one of the goblins walk up, open the door, Eric Clapton, down with the battle axe. Killed that goblin, kicked it back through the door, closed the door. I could not believe any of this was happening. I especially could not believe... A third time he's attempting this. A third time. It's like, there is no way... There is no way that the goblins are going to fall for this. There is absolutely no way. And it took a little bit. It took a while. But then, uh... And then Eric turned to me and went, Well, I guess it's not going to work. And then he loudly stomp, stomps away. Doesn't go anywhere, he just... in silence for a little bit. A goblin opens the door. Down comes the battle axe. Another dead goblin kicks through the door, closes the door. I'm sorry about that interruption. I had a phone call. Had to edit this out. Anyway, that was three times. Three times that that same trick worked. Took out three of the goblins. I don't know how many were in there. I didn't know how many, but we knew we took down three very easily. And I could not, ab I absolutely could not believe that he was continuing to go to this well. And that it was still working. So imagine my surprise when, <laughs> once again, for a fourth time, he knocks on this door. 
Now, goblins are dumb. But are they really that dumb? And he follows it up. And this, this time we're all having a whole, a whole bunch of fun because I can't believe any of this is working. But he had a little fun with it this time. He followed up the knock with Troll House Cookies! Troll House Cookies. Troll House Cookies. To which Ian's just having fun so he let this happen. He had one of the goblins run to the door. Oh boy, cookies! Open the door. Down comes the battle axe. Dead goblin kicked through the door. Close the door. <laughs> we're, we're dying. This is this is hilarious to me, uh, to us all. And um, but there was like no way that this could keep happening. At, at this point, there was just no way they could succeed in doing this anymore. So... We stopped trying. So, basically we stopped trying and um... Well, he did it till it absolutely was not biting anymore. And that was it. That, that fourth time was the last time it happened. And like, they just wouldn't believe it anymore. So, we decide to like the third time knocking with it not doing anything. So now, we are going to try something different. We knew the goblins were going, what, whoever goblins remain, whichever, how many, we knew they were going to set up an ambush for us. But Eric Clapton had a plan. A very, very simple one actually. Instead of knocking now, he was going to break down the door. Since it was unlocked, he just simply closed it. He was actually going to kick it open forcefully so if there was any goblin who was waiting on that side where the door swings, we'd hit him. We'd charge right in the door and hit that gone goblin. And we did. And we did. We actually used that door as a weapon to take out the fifth goblin. After that, it was a pretty conventional fight. But the odds were a lot more even because... My partner, my bard, dared to be, dared to be weird, dared to do things unconventionally, and hilarious. Um, I think I'll always remember this story, I enjoy it greatly. Be good to your bards, they are worth their weight in gold. And, uh... Eric Clapton is the greatest guitarist who ever lived. Not bad of an axe either. This was Fox Tales. Uh, I was your host, Josh the Fox Mills. I'll catch you next time.